Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is your person's biggest regret, okay? So what is their biggest regret towards you? Or about the connection here? Do they regret saying things or doing things to hurt you here? We'll take a look and see what the cards predict for you. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. So we'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and we'll see what is your person's biggest regret. This is someone who has hurt you, okay? It feels like this is an energy who has betrayed. They've betrayed you. They've um, pained you. They've broken your trust. They've hurt you with their words, their actions, their intentions, their deeds here. Bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is an energy of living in the past, living in regret, be, uh, being unable to make peace with the past here there is also a recurring theme of threes right you've got the three of cups three of chalices three of swords so for some of you this was a third party situation so your person it looks like your person may not have ended up choosing you in the end okay maybe they've made promises here maybe when the two of you got together this was someone who was already in a mar marital relationship but they were attached to someone else and they kept promising you that you know they would leave their current partner in order to pursue a romantic journey with yourself but it looks like they've never went ahead with it for some of you there is a strong indication of a third party situation okay um three is a crowded number here so it looks like there was a lack of balance or a lack of equilibrium in this connection here. And it feels like your person, he had options or they had choices around them. And they regret not choosing you in the end. Okay. Five of Cups here is an energy of living in the past, being stuck in the past, being stuck on past regrets, past hurts, past pains, past actions here. It feels like your person here regrets the way that they've treated you, regrets not prioritizing you, regrets treating you like a choice um, and an option rather than a priority here. I feel like it's something that they've never come to terms with here, with the Five of Cups energy. And because it's an energy that crown, crowns the overall reading, it feels like your person hasn't made peace with their regrets. They haven't made peace with their past. They haven't made peace with their actions here. It feels like your person is still holding on to the pain or the hurt that they've caused you. The fact that they've let you down or the fact that this relationship here resulted in the Three of Swords type of situation. They regret breaking your trust. They regret betraying you. Um, for some of you, it feels like this, this is someone who has... Maybe this person cheated on you here. Maybe this person was dishonest with you and they were disloyal to you, unfaithful here. They regret going behind your back here and doing the things that they did here. With the, uh, with the Page of Cups here, I feel like your person also regrets not looking at things realistically, okay? There were times in your relationship or your connection where instead of confronting something head-on, like the reality head-on, they kind of looked at 
it could be you as well though someone he was looking at the situation with a pair of rose colored glasses on okay and someone he was romanticizing someone else could be you though maybe you were you know, maybe you were romanticizing this person, romanticizing the notion of this connection here, romanticizing what, you know, what the two of you had. So looking at the situation and seeing what you wanted to see rather than what was really there. And maybe because of you constantly romanticizing them, that kind of allowed, you kind of allowed, or you were excusing, you were excusing their behavior, the way that they've treated you here. Because it feels like this person didn't hurt you just once. It feels like there were, it, it feels like there may have been a pattern of behavior here, okay, um, that has caused you emotional anguish, or that you know, um, a pattern of behavior that has let you down time and time again. Uh, they definitely, it definitely feels like this person. Ha if they could go back in time, they would do things differently. They would be a lot more emotionally expressive because there was a point in the connection where this person, instead of telling you how they felt here and what was really going on with them emotionally internally they kind of suppressed or repressed their emotions here okay they were holding on to their emotions they held back a lot with you they held back a lot they held back from really expressing themselves they held back their feelings as well um in fact, they were holding in their feelings for you. I don't know why, but in a way it feels like it, it was to protect themselves or also maybe to protect you as well. Sometimes they even held in certain feelings like fear, frustration and um, neg like negativity or uncertainty just because... For them, it was kind of normal to avoid exposing vulnerability. Maybe they grew up in a household where if you had to, you know, if they, that they believe that if you show emotion, it's a sign of weakness. It was also, this person was also hiding their emotions here. And that was to protect your relationship, what you had with them. Because they didn't want to be like a bother or they didn't want to be um, an annoyance here. So because they, they felt as if if they told you how they really feel or if they told if they had told you what was really going on with them they felt they would trigger maybe an even more painful conflict here i also feel like this desire to avoid expressing themselves also stemmed from an underlying lack of trust in themselves or even in you as well Maybe the t I don't know if, you, if this is you, but someone he criticized someone else for expressing their emotions earlier on. I don't know if it's you or if it's a connecting energy around this person here. Your person regrets not being able, like, they regret hiding their emotions from you, not expressing themselves, being also being unable to um, communicate, okay? There was a lack of communication, which made it very tough to navigate conflict and tensions in your relationship they regret not talking to you they regret not being a lot more open and expressive here and they eventually this regret or this suppression of emotions here led them to become more angry and resentful and it also triggered certain conflicts and certain tensions in the connection that they wanted to avoid in the first place here and i think it's also what sort of made them possibly lose this relationship which they did value there was a build-up of emotions here with this person's energy but it feels like they were holding those emotions back so they didn't really allow themselves to be vulnerable with you and to really open up their heart with you okay i'm also seeing that this person suppressed some anger here Maybe it was anger towards you or it could have been um, at an earlier stage. And it's not necessarily that this person was mad at you, but I'm seeing some sort of anger was being suppressed that was also putting a strain on in this relationship, right? This person felt like you were losing confidence in them or confidence in your connection, which made them turn to this other person this third party or which made them pick the third party in the end because they felt like they felt as if they hurt you 
because of your lack of trust in them and they begin to lose trust in your emotions and this connection here it feels like it's it's a, it's a sad energy this is um, it feels sad but it feels like this person was all they wanted to do was protect something which already felt like it was damaged in some way because i felt like because it feels like this person may have cheated on you earlier on in the connection and they were holding that like keeping that um, from you and they you know they were keeping that from you because it was in a way i know it sounds i know it sounds um it sounds odd but they were keeping it from you in a way to protect this relationship to protect what still ended up being damaged in the end if they could do things all over again they would do things very differently they still think about you to this day um, sometimes they like hop on and they have a look at your social media and see what life is like for you what you're up to what you know um, how life's treating you sometimes they think that you're the one that they should have ended up with you're the one that should be there with you um, that they should be there with kissing you holding you embracing you they still think back on the life that the two of you had and I think a part of them still holds on to the illusion of what you could have been okay of what the two of you could have had so there is this sense of holding on here It also feels like you were a big part of their sense of self or their your relationship with them were, was a big part of their identity here okay and when they think of you it definitely brings up a lot of emotions it brings up a lot of feelings here um, they did try to shut it down they did try to shut down so many feelings in the connection or even shut down communicating their feelings earlier on in the connection here but right now I feel like they're not accepting it. They're not accepting that the connection has ended or that things turned out the way that they did here. I feel like since whatever has happened between the two of you, they do talk a little bit more openly. They try to express their emotions a little bit more openly or they're even seeking professional advice here. Okay, they're talking to someone that they trust here, whoever this may be. And that I think was inspired with what happened by what happened with your connection with them. So a lot of regrets, a very strong energy of remorse, regret. If they could do things differently, they would have. Um, I also get the message if they could have, if they would have known better, they would have done better. But you live and you learn. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in the reading, please feel free to connect with me. Bye for now.